Well, it, the, the first thing about it is its size. I mean, the whole cycle, which is four separate operas, um, designed to be performed on successive evenings originally, um, is uh, it's the, probably, well, it is the biggest piece of Western art music that there is. There is nothing bigger in scale, and each of the operas themselves is, is fairly large. The other thing about it is that Wagner himself was a very controversial figure. I mean, he's probably one of the most talked about people of the 19th century. So if you put him into our context now, he'd be a sort of pop tabloid sensation. I think the other thing is, I mean, it's not a, it, because of its scale, it's not a very regularly performed piece. I mean, it, there are cycles that take place in, in the major international opera houses from time to time. We've never done it here, and that's one of the reasons that, that makes it uh, very special for us. There's a, there's a very simple reason, one of the fundamental reasons we've decided to do it in concert is because we simply can't fit an orchestra of this size uh, in the pit here in Leeds, in the Grand. Um, while you might be able to put it in the Lowry pit, you couldn't do it in either of the other major touring venues that we go to. The orchestra, of course, love it because it puts them onto the concert platform, and which they're very used to doing because they are a full-fledged symphony orchestra as well. But it, it, there are other advantages which one might not think of, and one is that, particularly for this sort of music, the concert halls generally have a better acoustic than theatres. Theatres tend to be, they're not purpose-built as opera theatres, not the ones that we go to. And I think in the ring, uh, particularly, the orchestra is, in a way, is the, is the most important character in the entire piece. So for the audience to be able to actually see the orchestra there, the presence of the orchestra to be felt, is a distinct advantage in this sense. And it's also worth saying that visually it's quite Im impressive because it's an orchestra of nigh on 100 people. Um, in Rheingold, for instance, there are six harpists lined up next to each other playing simultaneously at one point. Um, there are a number of instruments which Wagner actually basically invented, brought into the orchestra specifically for this piece, um, most notably uh, the Wagner tubers. Well, I think the, the, the interest about it, first of all, we haven't, there hasn't been a, a ring cycle up in this part of the country. We're always having people writing to us saying, why don't you perform more Wagner? It's such stirring music, it's so exciting. And I think um, that, that uh, one of the reasons that I've already mentioned, that the fact that we're doing it in the concert hall is a very good reason to, to come and hear the music because you, it's, there's a sort of an immediacy about it, a, a sort of vitality having the, the orchestra visible on the stage that you... you in a sense, you can't get in the theatre, although the theatre has other advantages. Um, we also have a fantastically talented cast. There's a very interesting, for Rheingold, it's mainly a British cast. Um, some really exciting new singers coming out. We're, I'm very excited about Michael Druritz, who's singing Voltan. Um, he's a singer that I've known for quite a number of years, but he's never done anything as big as this before. Um, we've been working intensively with him over this, and he's a hundred, a thousand percent energy in going into it. Um, so it's a very big thing for him, and I think, you know, we, someone like him, we, you know, it would be great to feel that we're we're finding new people to sing this repertoire who come from this country.